Okay, welcome. Uh, today we're going to be flying Dubai. Um, to kind of take a look at the difference between the default textures and the improved uh, textures I downloaded, which was a free download. I think this is the default textures, I hope. I'll know once I get up there a little bit. Uh, controls check. Spoilers open. Closed and locked. Canopy. Closed and locked. Straps are secure. Altimeter is set. We're about at 20 feet. And uh, trim four. We've got other traffic joining, so I better take off. Um, and I'm going to have a little fun with it, even though it's the default textures. I'm just going to do a high speed flyby and stuff like that. But, um, and we got a tailwind takeoff again. We're off, we're staying about five feet off the ground until he gets off. And, uh, he's off. There's a hundred feet. Two hundred, that's when we can turn back. Yes, this looks like the default texture. And I'm just going to do a fairly quick flight. I mean, it's going to take a, a little bit, but um, we're going to do a high-speed flyby over the city and then come back here and land. And then I'm going to install the new textures and uh, we'll repeat the... but we'll do a little more sightseeing with the... Uh, New textures because it's much, much, much more impressive. You saw all that visual glitch there, right? I think I need a new sound card. I mean, video card, sorry. I'm getting all kinds of like glitches like that lately. I think I overclocked it a little too much. Caused some issues. We're going to climb to about 5,000 unless there's some really good thermals. Just because I want to be able to like race down over the, uh, the skyline over there. And you'll notice the shoreline here and everything like that. That is all going to change drastically with the new textures. Um, it's actually, I mean, mega impressive what the, uh, I guess, Crown Prince, I don't know what the proper term would be, did, you know, to this city. Uh, basically, what happened was, uh, you know, he realized that, you know, there's only so many more years they could depend on oil production. Um, you know, so he's switching the economy from oil production to uh, tourism and making, you know, it uh, the city of the future and, uh, and you'll see. I mean, it, it's just mind-boggling what he's done. And very forward of thinking compared to like Trump who like you know is trying to take us back to coal mining and blowing the tops off mountains. Uh, this guy's turning the city from like an oil producing 
country into like, you know, a, a paradise, really. Okay, so that was 3,000. Like I said, I'm going to take it to 5. Just to be able to do like a high-speed flyby over there. And make it back to this airport. And I'm hoping that there will be thermals. Now, although these uh, funky shaped, like flat topped, uh, yeah, panels are, you know, a little funky looking, it really helps to keep, you know, you have a nice flat line to line up with the tow plane's wings or with the horizon and everything, so. It does have a practical purpose, you know. I think the other canopy, uh, not canopies, panels, could, you know, are, you know, a little bit nicer looking, but uh, it does give you that little bit of advantage of just being able to have that nice flat surface that, you know, so you can know when you're banking, even like a tiny little bit. And here we are on 5,000. Clear left. Clear right, clear below. Rope three, tow plane away. We do a climbing right turn, he does a diving left turn. And like I said, I do not know if there's any thermals. But okay, so take a look around, get an idea of what everything looks like right now. Uh, and everything is going to be so drastically different after this flight. Okay, I'm going to trim it forward and fly a little bit faster. Nope, it does not feel like there's any thermals whatsoever. Uh, sun's there. Okay. Thought I said it a little late in the day, but that does not look very late in the day. our sightseeing tour because I want to be able to uh, give you a little tour of like uh, the whole area um, I'm going to tow to a lot higher and uh, fly a bit slower except for like when I'm uh, done the tour and want to come in for a landing and I plan on hopefully doing a really 
if I do a landing like the, the last one, I will really be happy. It was very exciting. And perfect, like, you know, um, spot landing still. But the sound sucked. Okay, there we go, thermal. Might not need to climb to 10,000. Not those thermals. Okay, but like I said, I'm just doing a quick flight this time. So we're going to just dive right out of this thermal. I want to try just a little bit down the coastline and then do a high speed pass over that way down there. Have enough energy to gain a little bit of altitude and make it back to the airport. to see something here. Okay, good, yeah. So that'll tell me, you know, how much altitude I have to get back to the airfield I took off from. You can see we are flying quite fast. I don't see that uh, hotel on the beach right now. Should be right over there somewhere. But you're going to be blown away by how much this changes. Oh, there it is. That little speck right there. But what we're hoping to do is a high-speed flyby right over here. So 
course I was coming in lower. I still wish I was coming in for a while. Oh well. So, but that's all there is to the uh, skyline right now. Where do you see the difference? in a few minutes after we uh, let, come in and land. Even at this speed, we'll be coming in with uh, plenty of altitude. So I am going to do a... Uh, uh, well, let's see. If I will fly by this way, It'll be an 11 knot tailwind landing. Where did the runways run? Actually... I'll actually do a high speed down this way. Yeah, this will be good. There's traffic on the on the field there. I think he's in the parking area though. Just wait till you see the difference in the airport. And the city and everything is it's, it's gonna be so drastically different. That might actually be the tow plane, which is kind of bugged, and it kind of goes off the airfield and does weird things sometimes. Because that is actually sitting in the trees, so that's got to be the tow plane. Now we're doing about uh, 140 miles an hour or so. We're pushing the speed real fast. It's kind of coming from that away. Well, sort of back that away. So what we're going to do is we're going to this thermal right there.
I said, just trimmed it way back for landing gear down. Establish the pattern speed, which is right about there. Spoilers. We're going to come in on uh, the right. We're going to do a slip because we're still a little high. Even though we were coming in like so low there, I had enough energy to gain plenty of altitude. So what a slip is, is I'm flying diagonal to the wind, presenting the side of the shift to the wind to cause as much drag as possible. Still got full spoilers on. Okay, let's clear the runway. And... Brakes. Okay, welcome. Uh, this time we're going to be using the improved textures. And right away you're going to see that there's a massive difference in everything. From the airport, uh, uh, you'll notice the runway looks a little iffy, and that's because I have the, uh, no brakes off, so. I have the, um, the mesh details set a little bit low, um, so close up it's going to look a little crappy. But right away, okay, you can already see major differences in the uh, Airport. You see it as we uh, make our turn here in a few seconds.
just down below us. That's all new. He's created a lot of like green spaces that are really interesting. Gotta stop like looking around so much and fly. But the uh, the whole cityscape is different. There's a lot of cranes because they, they were doing so much construction. But I'm gonna fly. I'm go I am gonna get high. I'm gonna fly out over what's called the world which is uh, still being built in this, although I believe it's finished now. Uh, he created, like, you know, this whole world out in the ocean. Uh, and then besides that, then there's the palm tree, which will fly over. Here up. Of course, the palm tree was the first me mega structure, which was, uh, you know, something unbelievable that nobody thought would be possible. He basically wanted to, I think it's something like, he, he added 10 times the coastline to his country. In just like crazy unique ways that are just like mind boggling. But you can already see just like how much more detailed it is. This is actually a photorealistic, um, you know, from the, the time it was created. It's probably updated a bit since then. Uh, I know the palm tree is uh, more built up and finished now, which it's about halfway done. I mean, well, the palm tree itself is done, but the uh, the buildings aren't all finished. And there's actually now an airport on the palm. Which I saw an aerobatic glider flight over the palm tree landing at that uh, airport on the bomb, which was sort of the inspiration to try to find a um, updated texture for this area, because I've flown over this area, and I was like, uh, this doesn't look like what it should look like, you know? Because, like, FXS uh, was created back in um, 2014, and so, you know, that was not done yet. And it certainly is one of the wonders of the world. Like, is that thermal? What's that about there? Feels like it. But I am going to stay on tow to 10,000 just so that I can make sure I get a good tour of everything. Because it's so much more to see than uh, the last, you know, the default textures.
And since I don't think anybody's going to want to stick around for a flight to Abu Dhabi, uh, which the, these textures kind of uh, run out halfway there and it just becomes boring sand again. So, did I just hit the right button or not? Playing away un unintentionally. Okay, so I'm back to this and I want to do. Here we go. Alright, so we're going to fly first towards the coast. I would really love to get thermal and get a little higher still. We're almost at 7,000, so that's, that's good enough. If we can at least get a thermal at some point. But because I'm going to be flying out over the water to get uh, a view of the uh, the palm tree and the uh, the world. Yeah, there's not going to be much chance of thermals there. Okay, so you're beginning to see the world out there. Um, and it's in a very unfinished state, but it is still mega impressive. The palm trees over that way somewhere. And over here, uh, I think in this area, looks like he's built some like little eco villages, and maybe down around here as well.
I was almost twice as high last time I did this. And I'm really not feeling much in the way of thermals. Although there should be some. Just the closer I get to the water, the less chance there is. But over the city there, there should definitely be some strong ones. ships can't tell oh wait there's the world I think But he's built like all of this, you know, out there, too. Continue over this way and just look for lifts and lift. So, I do want to be a little high before I head out over the water. As uh, cities are usually pretty good thermal generators, if there is any thermals being generated. I don't feel like it. There is just too smooth. Should have a thermal right here. If there was going to be any, there would be one right here. And I think I'm feeling it. That is no good. If not, we're going to head out over the. Uh, the ocean here.
there is a couple of textual glitches like lines you can see between where I mean this is I think the first um, scenery this guy's created and you'll see like uh, lines where the uh, the seams were kind of spliced together or something. And supposedly there's one of these that he was planning on building that was kind of um, a combination of like several religious symbols. You know, even though it's, you know, it's a mostly Muslim nation, like, you know, most of the Arab world. Um, the island was meant to sort of symbolize their acceptance of know their openness and acceptance so it was kind of a mix of like several religious symbols in one created in the form of an island but this way up here ahead of us is what's called the world and it's just the very beginning of it and right now it's here it's just sandbars you know nothing's built on it they're just starting to construct it and it's, you know, not really shaped much like the world. But from what I understand, they were going to make, you know, all the land masses of the world, all the nations of the world, in a microcosmic uh, scale. And so people were you know, paying a lot of money to, you know, reserve land on their country of, you know, preference, I guess. We're still above 4,000, so we're good. We still got 3,000, 300 something to the airport. You know, so we're good still. Um, But all of this is going to be, you know, like hotels, condominiums, uh, shops, you know, basically kind of a city built out, out at sea. You know, that's going to be like kind of a microcosm of the world. And this is actually really huge. It goes way off in, into the distance this way here. The uh, palm trees over this way, and I think it added something like um, it like doubled doubled the coastline of the country, and this adds you know ten times the coastline of the country. It's pure brilliance, you know. When you're running out of oil and you have, like, um, you know your your country's been living it up rich for years, you know, on oil and everything, but that's going to soon dry up and become nothing. You look forward to something completely different, and you built something that nobody thought could ever be built. And uh, you completely transform the entire economy and the image of the country um, all at the same time. So this is going to be the world, or is the world now. I don't know what the state of it is at this point. 
but uh, it's probably a lot more finished than this, uh, if not completely finished. And you can sort of start to see the palm tree up ahead here, I think. Uh, we are losing altitude on that airfield quickly, and I don't want to get too far away from it. I am going to go back over this over the shore. Hope, hope to get some lift, you know, and then you know go over the palm tree again. Or slow it down a little bit too. The vessel over D not lose so much altitude. Got uh, tailwind now helping us. All along there, uh, if when we fly back by, you'll see you know cranes everywhere because they're they're just constructed so much. Um, you know that. Uh, they built like a, what they call like a healthcare city, you know, an entire city that's just uh, hospitals and healthcare. From you know, so they're really pushing advancements. Uh, that's pretty incredible. You can see the palm tree sort of taking shape over there a little bit now. I'm wondering if I'm seeing birds over it. I don't think I can see them that far. But there might be a, a thermal right over it. Although since I have not found any thermals, I would not count on it yet. But, like, these were all built, um, see that's why I was talking about where there's lines in the seams in the texture. There's another one right through the, um, the palm tree. Not liking how low we are. I can use what I, I never, ever, 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 ever use it. It's called slow move, which you can just um, turn it on and shoot yourself up 10,000 feet or whatnot. Uh, but I've never used it except for. When I was doing a demo and I wanted to uh, give it to somebody who's never flown a chance to fly without having to worry about climbing, so I would like shoot it up to 10,000, 15,000 feet and give them plenty of altitude to play with and learn. Alright, I'm feeling a little something here somewhere. I think. I don't know what they're building out here, but that's very incomplete here. This area, that's a much more obvious, like, feel there. Some sort of thermal activity around. And here we go. Thank God. And it's good and strong too. So. 
see, we have 1,900 on the airfield now. I'm going to want to get, like, as much as I can because I want to be able to fly over a couple areas still and then be able to do a real high-speed run on the airfield, like, when I'm landing. See, now you can see the palm tree there a little bit. Over here is where I think those eco villages are, and they built like like these lake communities where there were no lakes. It's you know off the show you gotta get over there. I'm gonna keep climbing though. Have like several thousand feet to play with. Sorry about the jerkiness in the uh, the head tracker. That's like my beard blowing in the way of it, of the sensors. Okay, so let's turn it back forward.
Now, if you ever watched the documentary on how they built this thing, it was wild. Uh, they built this whole seawall and then started building, like, the, uh, they built the palm tree and everything, sort of simultaneously. And then, you know, people started moving in and everything, but they started complaining that the water inside here was getting murky, you know, instead of this beautiful clear blue. Um, and it was just like, you know, minor debris, you know, stuff that's always in the water was just kind of accumulating in there. So that's why they cut these little lines out of it there that lets the circulation go through it and remove the, uh, the dirt from the water. Uh, this is all like hotels and b big fancy businesses. There's a big mega hotel out here on the end. Uh, half of this, I mean, there's still cranes over here. So a lot of this is, you know, in, at the time that this texture was made, was undeveloped still. That's now all, you know, very high end, like touristy. Stuff like hotels, shops, condos for the rich and famous, and why not, you know, but, but um, it's incredible what, uh, what he built there. And this whole area of the city was not in the other textures. Uh, there's just nothing there, so, uh, you know, a few buildings. But you'll see here, there's like all these green spaces. Um, see, there's that line I was talking about through it. And these are all... You know, they're all pretty big buildings out there. They don't look like it from this high up, but... They just, uh, they piled up lots and lots and lots of rocks and covered it with lots and lots and lots of sand. And, uh... They'll build it in a way that it could hold you know, thousands of tons of building on top of it. And it was just, you know, an engineering marvel. And see, this was all built in here to add more we're lying in, in there. Uh, why is it saying it's got 2,000 feet on the airfield? Okay, see, now look at this. This is... All these little circles are circles of little, like, bungalow-like houses with all this water added around them. It, it looks like eco-villages to me. And then you have all this big green space all over here created, you know, out of the desert. But even though these are rather smaller houses, I mean, that just is wild and impressive to me. And I believe that's more up here. But since we're getting a little low on the airfield, we're going to turn back towards it.
Yeah, 1,700 feet. I was hoping to have a plenty of uh, altitude to... I did this uh, last time. Well, I'm going to try to find a thermal climate again. But I did this, like, really impressive high-speed race along the highway. You know, low and fast, like, you know, 140 miles per hour or so. Zipping along just above the traffic. And then pulled up into a perfect spot landing. And I mean spot landing. I landed within uh, 10 feet of the line I, I chose to land at and stopped within 40 feet of that. Which is something you got to be able to do to, you know, before you qu fly cross country because you might end up being having to land in rather small fields. There's a crane there. You'll see a lot of cranes along the, uh, especially along the waterfront. And if I can get to about uh, positive, a little over 3,000. I can do it like a you know fairly good high speed run all the way from here to the airfield. That's uh, what's called the McCready setting. You set it basically on the, the lift that you're that you're experiencing and expecting in the next thermal. It determines your speed of flight. It also, de you know, determines your uh, arrival altitude. You know, because you're, of your speed of flight. Can leave that at could have left that at seven now because we're getting well over ten, twelve knots. Seven is the max that you can set it at on this. So.
Okay. We got 4,000 feet on the airfield for, like, for a final glide. I mean, that's like... Plenty of altitude to play with. Let's get it almost full forward trip. I wonder if that's the looks interesting. I'm not going to try to uh, do a high-speed flyby on the on the um, uh, skyline there, unless there's a good strong thermal there, because I want to do a uh, a real high-speed uh, pattern and landing. Still got, you know, still have a lot of altitude. Going on. Uh, traffic straight ahead. There's at least a thousand feet below me, I would think. Of course, that might even be just the tow plane sitting on the side of the runway screwed up again. I don't think so, but I don't know. I did see somebody join, I thought. There's the world again. You can see how much different the uh that's wind shifts and stuff. But just how different the uh, skyline looks down here. That's a very big crane right there. I 
And I think that's when they were building one of um, the most uh, unique buildings that's, you know, very much uh, the Dubai look now, you know. It's one of the buildings that they always show uh, whenever they're you know, advertising the new Dubai. What is that? That looks interesting. And yeah, I'm pretty sure that is the tow plane. Still got 35, so speed it up a bit. But. That whole area there is a massive construction project. I'd love to see what it looks like now. Now that's a very unique looking building right there. Okay, we can start our high speed run right now. Yeah, plenty of altitude. So I'm going to bring it out a bit farther. Well, 
heavy coming in. Faster and lower. I believe it was this highway. I want to follow. dare push it much faster than this. I was lower last time. I was skimming the highway. Because I have a lot of extra energy with the speed I'm going to take it out a little farther. Okay, try to get back to pattern speed. Still quite high. Gear down, full spoilers. on that second white area there'll be a line across the field and I'm going to try to touch down right on that line Yet. There it is. Uh, 
and that was within a touchdown within probably about three, four feet of it, and stopped within about 20, 30 feet of it. So that was a very good spot landing. And that's how you got to do it for like uh, off-field landings. So, hope you enjoyed that.